With an uncertain winter on its way, France has been rapidly filling its gas storage facilities. Currently at 90% capacity, the goal is for them to be completely full by November. While still a plentiful stockpile, the situation could change, especially if the next few months are harsher than expected. But if that's the case, it'll be up to businesses and not households to adapt. If we reduce the consumption by 10%, there will be no restrictions. If the winter is cold and we have problems with the supply of liquefied natural gas, there may be restrictions, but they won't affect households. In terms of supply, the government has more concerns, as 24 out of the country's 56 nuclear reactors are currently offline, caused by delayed maintenance from the pandemic. Corrosion is also a problem, with several fissures detected in the central circuit system. France, normally a top European electricity exporter, is now an importer, relying on neighbours like Germany for supply. Also, the country's uranium, an essential component to generate electricity, has been entirely imported since the early 2000s, with much of it coming from Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan and Uzbekistan. To help consumers bear the soaring prices, the French government's 65 billion euro aid package includes 100 euro handouts, fuel subsidies at the pump and capped energy prices, a stark contrast to some of its neighbouring countries. However, French households fear a hefty bill come January when the government's energy price cap comes to an end.